All right, looks like a few people are starting to show up. Welcome, everybody. All right, so Kingdom Raid, I've got Kingdom 320 and 363. I'm going to go check some of my Kingdom 320 bookmarks and start doing that to look for some potential targets. Um, trying to decide which one will actually have some action in the start here. So maybe, maybe most of these are probably zeroed. Oski, that one's zeroed. Um, that one might have some troops. War Reese. So Rip Hive potentially have only seen one target. I don't see much else. Let's move on. I'll see if I can find something else. Who'd you get? Did you get Chris B or Luca? So EMP has... That one's definitely zeroed. Yeah, you got Luca. Oh man, sorry Jared. I know how that feels. And he can be around any corner at any time and he hits... Fast. So EMP ninth time, geez. Like we've seen some people repeat quite a bit, but I don't know if we've seen them nine times. That's that's pretty. <laughs> that's a lot. Okay, I'm not seeing. Anything here yet? I'm gonna move on to another hive. It looks like. Um, just looking for targets. If I can find some targets, we'll start. If not, we'll hang out for a little bit. Maybe I'll swing over to the test server. But there's got to be something, you know. The thing that I worry about is when I'm looking for targets and I don't find any, but my timer is ticking down. Like, my timer, I probably didn't start soon enough. Koreans. So C39. Probably zeroed. C30. Zeroed for sure. This guy has troops returning. 60,000. Can't be much there. 371, not much there. Okay. I might have to try the other kingdom and come back to this one. So, War, Core, DBD. It's right next to AOW. Oh, there's a C45, but uh, I don't think I'll be hitting him anytime soon. Yeah, 4.3 billion. <laughs> not in my range of uh, targets. Dark Mystics there. 
So if Dark is in this kingdom, um, he's going to find all the good targets. So what I want to do then is switch to 363 and see what I can find. Okay, there's targets here. So this is where I'm going to go first. Actually, are they being scouted by somebody? Yeah, this guy from 597. Okay, well, let's get in here. I don't know when my shield's going to end. I'm going to wait for my shield to end before um, I make a move. Oh, also, I'm not even buffed up. Like, I'm so horribly unprepared right now. Okay, horse back. I've got three minutes on my thing. So, we're getting buffed up. Anti scout. Okay. So, why did his castle turn into a castle level zero? I don't know. But he's burning the people that I want to burn. But I want to wait for the shield, this two minutes, because if I don't, then I get stuck for at least a half an hour. And I don't want to do that if I'm not finding anything. Like, I don't like being out and being unshielded just to be out and be unshielded. And again, welcome to everybody that showed up. Um, looks like we've got eight people. So... You know, say hi if uh, if you've not been here before, or if you have, and you want me to know that you're here, or you want me to read your name on stream. You know, go for it. This guy's going to be my first target. I'm going to hit him because he's killing other people that I want to kill. But he might get all the kills before I get started. But the other thing is, if he's getting any resources from them, he's going to bring them all to one spot for me. I won't get them all in a single hit, because... And he reminded me to go get my horn. Um, I won't get them all in a single hit, probably, because I can carry, you know, only so much resources. So the timer that we're waiting on is a minute and 20 seconds, and that's when we're going to get started. And from there on out... It'll be action all the way, and we will be hoping that um, that we don't get hit by anybody massive. Although, I want to test my new um, wall. I mean, I call it a wall. It's not really a wall, but I kind of want to test it. So, he's sending another march out to this guy, which means he has resources. And he sped it, so... Dark ported in behind me. Where? Well, me and Dark are friends. Like, he won't hit me. At least not on purpose, I don't think. Like, he could do that anytime. Twenty-five seconds. I want this guy to have a march out. Oh, <laughs> oh he's gone. I um, I waited too long on him, but I was waiting for the shield to drop. So now there's already people building, but I'm going to get my scouts going in four seconds. So we'll see what I can find now. Someone's already been here, so it's going to be a little disappointing. Probably, but I scout everything. I don't mess around with... You know, missing resources. And there, we've already got some stuff. We've got troops here. We're going to start with that. And while this is hitting, I'm going to look at the other scout reports. So nothing there. Nothing there. Ooh, that hurts. Um, nothing there. So this one, I lost a decent chunk. Let's look at the benefits. He's got decent benefits. But this next attack should finish him off, and then 
From there, I need to keep scouting. So welcome everybody. Um, my first hive right now, and I'm looking for resources. More than troops, like I'm here for troops too, but resources is my favorite thing in the game. Stealing resources. Um, so that's that's the ultimate goal. So this was the second hit. Looks like I finished him off and got the rest of his resources. Nothing here. So a little bit of wood there. I think it's enough for me to take. Like it's not much, but I think it's enough to take. I'll get like a million out of it. Nothing here. Let's keep scouting. And I scout all these little castles because, guys, you'd be surprised where people hide their resources. Like, it might be this Lord number X, you know, 3634, whatever, and they put all their food on it. It happens all the time. Okay, so let's see. Nothing here. I got a little bit of resources there. Nothing here. Nothing here, and nothing there. Okay. More scouts. <laughs> Watch it on PS4. Love it. Thanks for showing up. So this guy already got zero. I don't want, he's probably out of resources, too. So who's got a march returning? That guy does. I'm going to check all the main castles, and then I'll check... Smaller castles after. Jon Snow has nothing. Ungar Sense, ugh, a little tiny bit of wood. I don't know about that one. Might not be enough to bother hitting. This guy has food potential. Good morning. What's up, Void? Highlander. All of these birthday castles, I'm guessing that these are dead castles just because they probably played and quit a year ago. But I scout them all. I will get tired of scouting like these little tiny things if they have nothing on them. But for now, we're just hoping for a jackpot. So there's a little bit of troops here. We'll kill those. Nothing too major, but enough to kill. Um, what else do we have? Nothing here. Nothing here. Nothing here. You lost all power to watch the broadcast. That's dedication. Not much there. Um, I'll scout a few more and then I'm going to look for my next hive to go into. I'm, I, if I start finding little bits of something here and there, I keep going. But if I'm finding nothing on all of them, then I'm guessing that they've been cleaned out for the most part. Yeah, I'm not seeing much. Okay, so... There's the attack. Not much lost there. Oh, it had food. I love getting food. So 2.1 million food. I'm happy with that. I swear when I scouted that, though, that she didn't have that much food. Yeah, how did I get 2.1 million food out of that? I don't know. Oh, my opponents this time are Kingdom 320, 363, and 597. So the kingdom I'm in right now has a lot of castles that are around the 1 billion power range, just littered with them. They're everywhere. Um, so there's potential for resources here. Uh, let's see. So most of the time before I pour into hives, I look for, not only um, am I looking for castles without shields, but I'm doing a quick assessment of them to see if they're worth, if they even have troops. This one has troops. So with 563 mil at C30, he's definitely got troops. Uh, this one definitely has troops, and that one definitely has troops. So there's troops here. So now I need a good spot. Uh, 
And hi to everybody. Thanks for showing up. Um, this camp is going to... That's the best spot. That's the spot that I want. So if that camp's not there, I still can't port there. But if this camp is gone, I can port in there, which is kind of where I want to be. Or maybe up here. This seems like a good enough spot. Oh, it won't let me. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. I don't usually like to do this too much because I don't like wasting this many speed ups. But, and try not to get motion sick here while we do this. Because <laughs> it will, like, freak out. I should probably just, like, scroll ahead of it. So everybody close your eyes for a second. Don't look at this. So once it hits, I'm going to teleport in here, and then I'm going to start my scouting round. Okay, so let's see what we got. Big Chief Gamma has 1.4 million, so we'll hit him first. Then we've got the Viscount Allen has 402,000, not much. I think I can actually get him with my second march without airship. Um, Camel Kazi has a little bit of wood that I want, so we'll hit him with this. And let's watch the burn, watch the numbers. 2.8 million, so I lost a little bit of troops. So here we lost nothing. We're after the resources on, uh, or the small amount of troops on this count. The Wizard Gamma has 3.1 million troops. That's a big find. And Mr. Gamma has 1.3 million. So... These are going to be the big hits. This guy, we got it all in a single hit, it looks like. Which I'm excited about. We got the resources off of this one, a little bit of wood. So the big hit is the Wizard Gamma. So when I hit him, even though he's a C-38, that's a lot of troops. I'm using the Battlefield Scroll to save my troops. So we're going to use that. And... Get some other scouts out while while we're here. Oh, I already scouted him. Um, scout some of these other ones. See if we can find anything. And this one I'm, I'm worried about. I want to see how big of a loss this is. I hope I don't lose the whole march. Because 3.1 million troops is a lot. I did use the battlefield scroll. So that'll save my troops from death. But it is going to fill up my hospital. So it doesn't look like I lost that many after all, actually. So I got a whole bunch of them on the first hit. So the second hit, I'm not going to use um, the thing. Him. He has even Mr. Gamma. Which one did I just scout? Okay, so Mr. Gamma has 1.3 million that I want to hit. Greg has nothing. Funny Death has nothing. But Maj General Gamma, this one has troops too. So I don't know if these are all his farms, but this is this is going to be pretty intense. What do I think of Escher? Um, I don't know him. Uh, I don't really know anything about him, so I don't I don't know. To be perfectly honest, like if I knew him, I'd be able to give an opinion. I mean, I never had any trouble with him. If you ask me what I think about Luca, on the other hand... No, I'm just joking. Like, Luca's playing the game same as me. He's never talked crap about it afterwards. He does what he's going to do and defends his kingdom. I just wish that... Um, so Greg's got troops. Baron Allen, Baron Allen has small amount of troops that can be hit by my second march. Oh, 
Oh, he's killing everybody right now? I don't know anything about that, but I'm intrigued. So he's zeroing his kingdom? Um, that is a nightmare, to be perfectly honest. Like, if Dark went on a rampage and zeroed our kingdom, it would be an absolute nightmare for the rest of us. Um, I heard that too, Amir, and I can't, you know, I can't confirm it because I don't know for sure, but um, I definitely heard that as well, and that he wasn't playing anymore. So I'm also, I'm going to take a quick um, healing break while, so let me see, I'm going to get into my healing set, get in here and start healing some of the troops in the hospital um, so that I I can have that started, and then I can speed heal him if I need room in the hospital. Yeah, I saw Dark in 320 earlier. Um, that's why I went to this kingdom instead, because Dark's going to get all the targets in 320. So I decided to move here to try and compete. Dark normally gets, if Dark's playing, he normally gets number one in, uh, in Kingdom Raid. Okay, so Fun House, looks like I've cleared up the Wizard Gamma. Now I need to clean up Mr. Gamma. I also need to clean up General Gamma. And let's get some scouts on these smaller ones while I'm waiting for that to hit. Uh, the other thing in here, I never attack without my airship. So I wish... Um, Lots of kills, no resources. Well, good first run though. What's your what's your score at right now? Like lots of kills is fun and it's it's good for views. Like I'm getting a decent amount of kills right now. It's just slow because, um, yeah, because I don't I don't have a second airship. So this one I'm gonna hit with my second march. We'll keep extra kills going on these like C25s and below. If they have a small amount of troops, we'll kill those with my my additional marches. Just start carpet bombing a little bit. Okay, so who else do I need to hit? I need to hit General Gamma. So it, I think this is all the same guy, and he just forgot to shield. He's not going to be happy that I hit all of his castles. Uh, yeah, and yes, I apologize. Part of the game, sorry. Like, maybe it'll help you learn your lesson to shield your account and your farms. So now we're killing this guy with secondary march. Not many losses there. And we're waiting for this one to hit. And then I'll check my score in a second. Uh, yeah, I, I use some infantry in my um, in my main march. I'll show it in just a second. So this guy, I took some losses there. Three million troops. When I scouted him, he didn't have three million. Did he get rained? Or did he heal? So he got rained by Boomer. So that probably contributed to... Um, what's the coordinates where I am? I'm at 483.13.13. So the one I just hit was who? I just hit um, the Maj General Gamas, Gamma. So I'm going to hit that again. So my main march, I've got some infantry in here. I've got tier 11 cav and infantry as well for a little bit of a stack. Because one, I don't have enough tier 12 to send full tier 12 marches. But two, I like having the tier 11 behind it to continuously attack without dying. Um, so basil 3 is down. Basil 2 is down. Was that food? Oh, just 77k. Um, let me get some more scouts out while we're waiting. I don't want to mess with all of these little baby castles. Or do I?
Um, so my Kimmy, um, Dark just soloed to three bill. Jeez, like that's intense. the The amount of power Dark has though is just wicked. So Zodiac has troops. Um, sending some infantry to die first is the goal of the mixed march. So here, the goal is when sending the infantry, see how the infantry has a, well, it's similar, but the infantry in percentage is dying more than the cavalry. So my wounded cavalry, my lost cavalry um, are on par with what I'm losing to infantry. I should probably even get a little bit more infantry than I'm, what I'm putting up there to save my cavalry. But this guy's getting rained, so that's the part that um, is making it harder. I don't know if the rain's still in there, but let's finish this off and let's move on to another. And if the guy that's raining them just keeps raining everything I attack, it's, it's gonna make it annoying. Okay, so we finished that one off. This guy has some small troops. Just enough that I can get with my main march. I do have some marches that are just... Um, just calf that I use. 539 mil, not much. I am sitting at one billion points right now, but I'm only ranked three, probably because Dark is out there killing hundreds of millions of <laughs> tier 12s. It's not fair. I do like to scout all of these little castles, hoping for one of them to be loaded with resources, um, especially while I'm waiting for other attacks to go out. I might as well send scouts, right? Like, And uh, I forgot who my next attack target is. So nothing there. Littlefoot, Maximus doesn't have much. Littlefoot doesn't have much. Maximus has a few troops. Don't know if I care. This guy has troops and some wood. So we want that. But the other one, Zodiac, had troops. So we're going to hit Zodiac with the main march. And then we're going to hit Maximus with the small march. A small march, and look, I'm already, like I'm down 100 million power already. So, like I am taking some significant losses on these big attacks. So Kingdom Raid isn't free. Like I definitely take big losses during Kingdom Raid, but I do love Kingdom Raid. It's one of my favorite events. Like I remember, it, it reminds me of the early days when there was Inner Kingdom War and a big castle would pour in and just start wrecking everything and. Nobody could do anything about it other than, like, ping the people who aren't shielded and tell them, like, shield up, run, dark's here. Because <laughs> that's, that's what it was, basically. So this is a weird one, like, this is a really weird attack. All of his troops died, none are wounded. So let me look at that again. I wonder... I wonder if he got rained too. So Boomer, <laughs> look at this. Boomer screwed himself, okay? Boomer filled up his hospital raining, and now he just took 406,000 real losses. So be careful when you're raining other castles that you clear your hospital out, because now Boomer just took a massive hit from that. Morning, Prince of the Core. He's megging a C-45. Gosh, that's fun to watch. Um, do you have coordinates of where that's happening? Oh, 320, 759. I want to go over there, but I need to port to safety first so that I don't get hit while I'm here. So I need to finish up my stuff before I go watch that. Um, if you guys are in game, they posted the cords. Like, you can go take a look uh, and just, you know, do what you got to do. Oh, he's going again. I still have lots of troops in this hive to get to. Um, so Gizmo's empty. 
visas empty smurfat basically empty now i got all of the troops on zodiac so we're done there um maybe i am done here there might be a few more small little scouts to do and then i can random port away and go watch darks megas for the people who aren't in game watching kind of makes me want to join up five too far or five two four to uh join in on, on that so I already hit these guys over here. I just didn't scout him. Um, I think I got all of these. I didn't check every single one of these little castles, but there's other stuff going on that I want to go watch. I think I got all those guys. I got all of these. Okay, so let's check these last scouts, and then we'll random out and we can go watch. Can you look at the Facebook official group posts? Um, yes, is your name, um, Joshua Plummer on there? Uh, I need paper. Okay, hold on. Okay, so I've got my pad, and I don't see a pen. I've got a pen. So, Joshua... Plumber on Facebook group. Okay, got it. Um, oh, so the guy that darks megging is healing quick. Okay, so let me random out. Make sure I'm in a safe random spot. This is not a very safe spot. Let me check where these guys are coming from real quick. I mean, you can join our kingdom. It's going to take you a long time to to build up, but you know, of course, you can join any kingdom you want. I need to random again. I'm too close to a hive. I want to be somewhere more out in the middle of nowhere like that. Okay, so you said kingdom three twenty at. Seven five nine and ten seventy one. Oh, he's is he megging that guy, Sadie? Where is, okay, so Dark and Widow are both here. Come Closer is there, so it looks like they've got, there's a bunch of people here. Boris and Dark and Widow are all really strong. They've all got tier 13s. Um, Tegesos. He's shielded. He should probably... So if you're joining a Mega like this and you're vulnerable, you either get rain from one of the big players, like Dark. If Dark rained him, he could unshield. Or you go farther away and you speed your your march into the into the rally. So I bet you there's some people... So see this one? We're going to trace this one down. So watch this. There's someone... And this is what I'm talking about. Nope. That's not. Dark is scouting. <laughs> uh, okay. Come closer. Oh, come closer called him out. That was a mistake. Like, this guy's 5 billion. Like, Dark will solo 5 billion. So Dark's at 31 billion power. He would, he would probably lose less than that guy if he soloed him. So there's the Mega. It's down to 3.12. I wonder if he's got resources. Okay, so let me make a bookmark here on top. So I can come right back to it. And I want to see... Okay, the C44 gone. I wonder if... OK, 
Okay, I don't see any scouts of like him having a ton of troops or anything like that. So that was a solo. Dark just sent a solo at him. He's at 3.3, so he's healing, you're right. He's healing pretty quick. He must be using a lot of gold. But this is definitely fun to watch. Um, <laughs> we'll see if they're doing another mega. So this, the one that's sending a march at dark, I think that he's probably just sending a little... Oh, that was Widow solo? Well, I mean, Widow's really freaking strong, too. And she's super nice. If you guys don't know Widow, like, I love Widow. So are they getting rained as well? Up to 3.3 billion. Is that Dark Defender's march, or was he hiding? So Dark Defender rained. Other people might be raining to share the burden. I'm surprised that they're just taking it. Uh, yes, yes, Blair, that is. Uh, I just didn't want to put that um, put that out there in case, you know, people didn't know. Or, I mean, I'm pretty sure most people know, but you know, I don't. I, I don't feel it's my information to share. Uh, Gilby, yeah, it's very possible that they both soloed. I mean, if you solo somebody and they have and you they take more damage than you, um, you know, it might be worth it. Like it might say, "Oh, you lost," but you're like, "Well, you killed, you know, 1.2 million and you only lost 800,000." So you come ahead, come out ahead on that. Um, God, that's funny. I can't. Oh, Dark said it last night. Okay. So common knowledge then, if uh, if he put it out there. I'm excited for this. Like, I can't tell if they're doing another mega. Oh, I can't. I can't look at it right now, Josh. I have to look at it um, after. Yeah, uh, like, I get that too. It's like, not getting any of the resources or anything, even though you clearly won the battle. Like, I've had battles where it's like, oh yeah, I lost, but I killed 2 million troops, um, and I still get nothing. Oh, they set another mega? Nice. God, like, this is the kind of stuff that I want to be a part of. So the guy's back up to 4 billion. What did he start at? Someone said they that he started at something higher. Like eventually, if he's using his alliance's um, raid coins, he's either going to run out of raid coins, or he's going to have to bubble. Um, there's there's not a way around it. Like if these guys are persistent, that guy cannot last against them all night. Like it's it's pretty clear math, right? Like. 31 billion with another 3.7 billion and a 7.6 billion and probably other people on the fringes all attacking one he's not going to win but I bet you that they all have huge amounts of points so I'm still in third but I bet after this next mega lands I drop to fourth because I bet you Boris, Widow, and Dark would be in spots 1, 2, and 3 at that point. So let's wait and see. If you, I hope you guys are all right watching this. Like, if if I'm, I'm assuming most people are since Megas are fun to watch and there's action. Um, but, you know, if, if you get bored of watching it, let me know and I'll go back to hunting my own targets and looking for, um, you know, looking for... Uh, my own targets. <laughs> Scout Dark. I'm not in that kingdom right now. Uh, I'm in a different one. I randomed away uh, to come watch this. But yeah, I don't think I'd want to scout him. Um, if I was in the Discord with him, or if I was in voice, like 
I'd be able to tell him I'm just messing around, but you never know. Like, you scout someone, he doesn't pay attention, and he just smacks me with a 1.1 billion march. Like, it's going to end my raid night. And because we're the same kingdom, my kills would be permanent death. So it would, it would really hurt to take a hit from Dark on pure permanent loss. Like, it would totally cripple me. And this March skin that he has is my favorite. Like, I really hope that what they're doing with the March skin, or the Castle skins, and the Castle skin store, that they do the same with the March skin store. Because I would absolutely buy this lightsaber March. I would pay, like, $200 for the lightsaber March. Like, I, I love Star Wars, and I would totally want that March. Okay, so it hit, and... He's down to 3 billion power again. So he, they took 1 billion power in that rally. So here's what I was talking about with people being farther away. Um, and what they probably would do after is they're in a spot up here. See how that line disappeared? Because they they ported to a different part of the map. So after, after you're joining a, a rally from long distance... You get off the hotspot. You port to a different section. Um, and that's so that someone like me can't trace your line back and solo attack you. Because, you know, it might be some, you know, 1 billion, 1.2 billion um, power players that can't take a, a solo from these 5 and 6 billion power AOW guys. Like, I wouldn't want to be over here taking solos. I would be hiding on the fringes as well. It was Uhtred. Uhtred's a brand new C44. He just got it last night, so he doesn't have his tier 13s yet, but it's really impressive to get Castle 44. Um, I'm still really far off of it myself. Um, I'm gonna, I'll am gonna, i go in and show you guys where I'm at. So right now, my current status... Oh, let, me, let me collect this. My current status on upgrading is I've got my buildings done, and I need another 480 badges to get to C43. And then after that, it's I need, God, some crazy like 2,500 Marquise badges, which is, it's just so far out of reach. Like, it's going to take so long. Um, oh, so I need to get back to that bookmark to watch. So while we're here and we're hanging out watching the Megas, um, does anybody have any questions? Uh, anything you want to see? Uh, I don't know. Questions about anything, basically. Trying to uh, keep people entertained while we're... My max of taking hit is 42... 3 billion power. Dang. You're closer than me, Jared, to, to C43. <laughs> that hurts my feelings. <laughs> um, I don't know. Honestly, I participate in everything I can. Um, I buy badges for a dollar a piece. Um, I, I don't know. But I'm working on it. One of the things that I'm... I'm uh, looking forward to is I will get more badges on the Vampire Horde. So tomorrow when I get the free spin, that's going to put me at the 10 and get me these 10 badges. And then I'm going to do the 15 additional spins to unlock these 20. So I'll have at least 30 badges tomorrow, but since I'll be doing 15 spins, we'll see if I can get lucky and get the 50 badge. And because I went into my castle, I have to find my bookmark again. So this guy has healed back up to 3.9 billion. So he's got less than he did. And I'm guessing he's losing all of his infantry permanent loss. So eventually, they're going to break through. And one of these hits is going to be like, I don't know, 1.6 billion power. Like, they're going to wreck him. What's the uh, what's the problem you have with your kingdom, Josh?
and welcome ghost um thanks for showing up and everybody of course and just the people in chat um it's easier to call them out and and see who's here kingdom 592 is blair i mean that's not bad how are you doing in 592 Pretty much I can't do many other events than the ones that go for a few days because everyone in my line is German Fresh and I'm Australian. Oh, the time difference. I understand that completely. Um, we actually had that talk a little bit today because the alliance that I'm in, they are a lot of European and um, Spanish players that they want to do, like we do Darklands at like 1550 UTC, which is like 9 a.m. in the middle of my workday on a Friday. Hey, Maya, <laughs> welcome. Um, so I get it, and then they do Underworld in the middle of the day, and they're like, how come you're never here for rallies? I'm like, why don't you do it when I'm not at work? Uh, and that's because everybody's sleeping while I'm not at work. And that's kind of the same thing like UAC. Most of the time I'm there by myself. I have a few people with me. We go out and do stuff. We get a bunch of points overnight, and then... I wake up in the morning and, hey, Matthew, uh, what time's the bridge in, in uh, test server? I, I haven't checked since, um, since reset. I, got, uh, I built all the towers that got us down to the bridge. So I'm hoping that once they cross the bridge and hand it back to us, that... Um, we can just start building right away. Unless there's a different bridge. Or are we actually fighting them for the bridge? Because that would be fun too. Oh boy, here we go. Okay. Um, so before I move over... Let's see. I need... I need some stuff before I leave. So I'm giving myself four more of these because I'm going to need them. And then, okay, back later. Sorry, quiet during this. Um, five, two, four. Search, apply, rally. Okay, and then I need to be not in the action. Hopefully I don't scare the crap out of um, Uhtred. Actually, I better not go right on top of him. So let me go over here. Okay, so now I'm going to be part of the rallies. Um, so that makes it even more fun. So he wants Cav, Mega. Last one, Cav. Why can't I see what's in there? Okay, so I'm going to send these guys. I need to get rid of my Tier 11s. And I need to do... Let's do 100... 100k of that, and the rest tier 12s, and we're going to speed this in, and make sure that I have, so 3 minutes 30 on the timer, okay, so I'm getting in on this action, this is going to be so much fun, like now I get to see the battle reports, and look, they blocked them from porting too. So they're, they're all locked. They've got a Doom Cannon on them, so the Doom Cannon is actually going to hit. Um, I'm live, by the way. Hope that's okay. We've been... Watching the 
action. So, yeah. Um, sorry if I uh, <laughs> if I lose the uh, chat while um, I'm going on the when I'm doing stuff like when I'm concentrating, I, it's hard to do both at the same time. Okay, so 900 million power gone. Log on the test server. Maya, what server did you land on again? I I remember it from the other Discord, but I don't remember right now. I think you said two. Um, you've only got 500k troops left, or you have 500k total and you got fourth. Oh, good call. Good call, Matthew. Um, so... What he's saying about switching to Duelist is on the Duelist set, there's Battlefield Treatment 12% on the boots and an extra 6% on the ring. So by using that, um, and I'll also, because I don't use this very often, I'll use the Life Preserver. So now with those both set, if I find my um, Battlefield Treatment, which is... Somewhere that I passed. Um, I don't see it. I'm blind. Sorry, guys. I'm blind. <laughs> I can't see it. <laughs> but basically, my battlefield treatment's really high right now. That's the moral of the story. Okay. Um... So Mega lands in 50 minutes. So she's up to 3.6, but this next Mega Mega should hurt pretty, pretty well. Um, the other thing, so I'm going to get off the hotspot as soon as the Mega lands. Um, I'm going to get off of the hotspot before I check the battle report. So I'll port. Get ready for the next rally, and then after that, I will um, get ready. So this time, I think I'm going to go... Well, let's watch the mega hit first. Sorry, that, that, would be, that would be dumb to not even watch. And then I'll find a new spot. So I don't... They must have... They might have been using distance before. Uh, check the guards that Dark's using... He's using the new ones, Laura and um, what's her face? Laura and uh, Jean Jean de Arc or Jean de Arc, however you say it. All right, so Mega's gonna hit. Uh, I'll show you in just a second, Maya. I think it was um, three. There's two three hundred kingdoms and a five nine. I think five nine seven. Okay, well, not many of my troops came home. <laughs> uh, troops killed, border hospital wounded. I need to look at my. I don't need to get off the hotspot since none of my troops are coming home. Dang, those stats, man. That's insane. So we got quite a bit there. And the power that they're at now is 2.8. So that was a good one. Uh, the other thing I need to do now is I need to make sure that I have enough room in the hospital so I don't lose troops for no reason. So this is one where I will um, I'll speed this up. And then I want to... So I've still got room for one more march. But that's if I stay in healing gear. I think I only have like 1.1 million if not. So I'm going to spend the gold to keep him safe. And then I'll get back in my other gear. And this one is distance. So. Distance. My distance march. I want... Let's just do 50, 1, 2, 3 of that, and all tier 12s. Oh, it's uh, it's already capped. Yeah, that's, we'll look at that again. So 
2.8 million troops, uh, or 4.5 million kills, 2.8 million losses. Um, <laughs> I got unlucky, most of the losses were mine, but if you consider why, tier 13s die last. So Darks got tier 13s, um, Widows got tier 13s, um, Boris has tier 13s, and then me and Uhtred uh, both have the tier 12s. So our tier 12s are going to take um, the losses first because tier 13s die last. But I'm okay with this. This is still this is still fun. Um, raid stage. Now I'm at 1.2 billion points, but I'm in rank 5 now. Kingdom 616. Tom's got some stuff going on too. Um, we will go... I'll go take a look at that action. Actually, let's go see what Tom's got going on while we've got two minutes to the Mega. Okay, so 616. Um, 708. And 942. Okay, so what's happening here, Tom? What do you got going on? Oh, you... Oh, you froze her. Nice. But <laughs> I don't think anybody's going to be able to attack her, even though she's frozen. So she'll probably just keep attacking people, right? Like, if you're a Kano, you're just like, yeah, whatever. I'm 10 billion power. Nobody can do anything. Did she come to save Dark Sparta and you guys froze her? Okay, let's get back down to the mega spot. And let's see what they're healing to. So she's back up to 3.2 billion. Oh, I forgot to look. I'm going to look at the last... Um, looking at the last rally, we want to see what died. So if we look at the battle details um, down to Sadie Krata. Um, so she lost... 540,000 of her infantry, her tier 12s. That's the permanent losses, unless she's using coins. She probably healed the wounded 1.5 million, but that means the next time around, there's less. And once we break through those infantry and we get into the meat, like this other stuff is going to die so fast. And they've got Ricky Bobby and other people sending distance and cavalry. I honestly think that they need to send infantry to help her wall, to help her survive. Otherwise, it's going to break through all of it, and they're going to take a big hit. So let's watch this and see um, what happens. We got another one loaded, 14, 15 seconds. Um, we'll, we'll know if this rally was better. Better. <laughs> If any of my troops come home, <laughs> if none of my troops come home, then, uh, you know, not much better for, for me, but we'll see. And we're up to 30, 38, we're bouncing between 38, 39, 40 people, so thanks everybody for showing up. Oh, there's the shield. So now I need to get off the hotspot. Um, as soon as this hits, it's going to send troops right back to me. And that's when I got to move. So we'll pour it out of there. And now we can go back and look. So I'm off the spot. They finally made her bubble. Um, And it looks like through the whole thing, come closer, never unbubbled. I think he's the one that called Dark out that caused all this. Um, <laughs> so, you know, it happens. Okay, so unless they are doing more targets, I'm going to go back to the other kingdom and start hunting again. Although I have significantly less power than I had <laughs> when we started. So 
I've got 481,000 in the permanent hospital and no wounded right now, but I'm down from, I was at 2 billion 50,000. Um, 50% boost, gold, two hours. Um, yeah, and thanks for showing up, everybody. Oh, good call. Jeez. See, I'm terrible at this. Thanks for reminding me. Changing my equipment back. That'll help with my power loss for sure. So I'm not down all that much. I'm still at $2,031,000,000. 2 so I'm down about 50 million power for today, I think. Okay, so I'm going to go back to... Well, before I go back, I'm going to check the bookmarks in this kingdom. See if I can find anything. Um, so scrolling down to the start of these, we've got Lord LK. So there were people in their forest that were unbubbled earlier. Rally, um, <laughs> shoot kill points. <laughs> um, let's see. Start ultra mega against Luca on the test server. I don't want to lose all my troops. I'm going to get wrecked trying to fight Luca. Um, but let me hunt a little bit more. How much time do I have until the bridge on test server? Because I want to I wanna do that too. Oh, <laughs> we were driving them crazy by attacking them and killing their, um, killing all of their towers and stuff. That's funny. So, Sweet Angel, nothing. Um, Lord Victor. That one maybe have some. 4.431 million. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I'll look at that again. Um, so the battle report from the Mega that landed was here. So we killed a lot. A lot of permanent losses there. We lost more permanent losses because we were attacking. Um, but all in all, like... I think it was. I think it was good. If we had more tier thirteens, um, that would have been even worse for for her. So here we. She has a lot of the tier twelve infantry that we were trying to break through, uh, and we started to trickle through and get some of the other stuff, um, but not by much. And dark stats. If you want to see the stats. Um, just insane. I'm so jealous of this. Like, oh man, I wish I had those kind of stats. It's funny, I um, <laughs> I asked for them on the test server, and they said no. So I asked if um, if they would give me like 10 billion of, of each crafting material so that I could be a monster castle for the remainder of, remainder of test server. And they said that um, even though it's the test server, they want to keep things fair. And that wouldn't be fair. So I was like, okay, I understand, but it was worth a shot, <laughs> right? So, you know, it would have been it would have been super fun to have those stats for a couple of days on test server. But if I did, I don't think I would even play main server. I would just be on test server, just wreaking havoc. Um, I did have a lot of pretty big targets here. So I'm gonna see if I can find something else that we can mega. So I'm looking through my bookmarks on this server. If I can't find anything, then I'll go back to the other server that had um, targets. So this was hell. I did ought. I did hell. I need to check beg. Um, so beg, that one's probably zeroed. Vampire. A lot of small castles in here. Prenati. Um, Carlitos, Astor, nothing, I'm not seeing anything in here. I'm going to keep checking real quick and see if I can find anything. Um, Emp, 
not him. Here's an interesting one that I saw earlier. This guy's Sleuth. He's not in an alliance, and he's out in the middle of nowhere. But look at this. He's got 728 million. So there's troops there. And then there's another castle that was down here. So this one too. So both of those are still bubbled. Uh, and, and castles like that, I will check like 15 times during Kingdom Raid to try and catch them without a bubble. Uh, I'll check every couple hours to try and, and get that bubble to drop. Because those castles hidden out in the middle of nowhere are usually the ones that have resources hidden. So it looks like Widow and Dark are still stuck in the, um, the no port. So if they do mega anybody, it would have to be in this kingdom. So we're kind of stuck for now. EMP, Stalker, no troops. Dmash, nothing. Ahmed 3, nothing. Um, check some of these C30s. I think I'm going to go back to the other kingdom. I don't see much here. If they find another target and they start another mega, um, I'll come back, but I don't see much in this kingdom. So I'm going to go back to the other ones and start looking. So where was I on my list here? I was... Let me see. Let's follow these lines. So BAM looks like... They've got Garrison here. How many troops are in there? 1.7 million troops in there. So I might come back for those. But it also could kill me. Like There's some pretty big players in here. So that could be 1.7 million led by a uh... now that's a good target unless he's got too much that's a 1.1 billion um... jeez let's go check that out let's go see so this could be a good one i think dark is stuck under the um... under the rocks for a while Yeah, let's see what they have. And we'll scout some of these other ones, see if I can find any resources in here. Okay, moment of truth. What's in there? 2.8 and a bunch of iron, silver resources. Yep, I like it. Okay, hopefully this goes well. Oof, that did not go well. Damn it. Okay, good thing I used a scroll. Um, damn. <laughs> so I can't afford to kill this by myself. Um, without the scrolls, I would take heavy, heavy losses there. So I'm going to have to... I'll save this. I'll share that report in a second. Yeah, DM will kill that in one hit. For sure. So, while I'm here... Oh, who's that? Is he marching his own or is he getting rained? Well, I'm going to kill this little guy because why not? Um, so, I need to link that scout report as soon as I can and see if anybody's not frozen. I have to wait again for one minute. So let's look at some of these farms. Um, dang, that's a good find, but it's too strong for me. Yeah, like I'm hoping Dark will come come and save me. In the meantime, I'll look for some other stuff on the outskirts. Maybe I can find one that has less. These other ones are burning already. So somebody else was here. Did I miss somebody? Oh, there was rain in there? So somebody is there, but they don't want to unbubble. Ooh. <laughs> oh, he's gone. Dang it. That one had resources. Uh, not much here. Let me see if it'll let me... 
So I got to check that report again real quick too. Um, so the one that I just lost. So odious and yeah, barkeep reined him, but it's only tier eleven rain, so that shouldn't have done much. I think he just has a he's got a lot of troops, and I got through his wall. His his looks like I got through most of his meat shield, but this is the kind of setup that just shreds. Okay. Um, Maybe in an hour. Tier 11s do die last after everything else. So that's actually a pretty um, smart thing. Okay, so you want me to hit the fort? God, I'm scared to do that now because I just got wrecked. Now I'm scared. Um, let me look. And this is under construction by 16,000. Meh. Do I see anything else over here? Skittles is sending stuff into this castle? Why? I need to click this march and see what he's sending. I can't click the march. I'm trying really hard. So I don't know why he's sending stuff in there. But um, we'll check that out in a second. Maybe we'll hit it. Maybe he wants some points. So there's... Cherry Popper, Barkeep, Scooty Booty, screw it. I'll do it for the fans. We'll do it for the YouTube. And hopefully I don't die too much. What am I getting facepalmed for? What did I do? Okay. Um, God, hopefully I don't lose too bad here. Not too bad. Okay. So I got him. Got them all. Not bad. Um, got a beat on stats. 1.7 kills. I'll take it. I'm happy with that. Save that report. Now, where's the guy Skittles is sending to? So Skittles sent to this guy, but I need my airship. So after my airship, I'm going to hit the Jarl Seeger to get those reinforcements that he just sent. He either, he either pulled them back... And they're his own troops, or Skittles sent him troops. And I don't know which, um, but we'll see. Yeah, sending troops to the unbubbled castle. Yes, <laughs> thank you, Maya. Uh, you gave me the courage I needed to attack those troops. <clears throat> and we're up to 40 people, so that's awesome. Um I appreciate everybody for showing up. I really, I really do appreciate it. Like, it's crazy that a year ago, I would be happy to get 40 views on a video total. Like, I was super excited to get 40 views, and I was like, this is awesome, I got 40 views. And now I've got 41 people watching at the same time, which is my record, by the way. 40 was the previous record, and now I've got 40. So that's pretty awesome. Oh, Stonewall's here to clear it. Yes. Okay, so there it is. There's 744,000. Um, Jarl Seeger had a few left, and there's Skittles with his reign, and Ant had reign too. So two people reigned this guy, <laughs> and he's got level one guards on his wall. Like, you, oh man know who you're reigning like that's uh let's watch stonewall in action oh okay let's watch so 983 and then 965 so he had similar results to me Stonewall at 1.8. 
So maybe we'll rally it. I mean, why not, since we're here? I don't see any other castles in this area. So he's got, he's sending distance. So I want to send my distance. I need to clear this out and I want to send Let's say 50, 1, 2, 3, and the rest. So we're after the resources on this one. Um, right now it's a two-person it's a two-person mega rally, but um, the last scout that I had on this guy, he's got 18 million food, 41 million iron, and 5 million silver. So not a ton of resources, but enough that we want to kill the troops and we want to gut the resources after. Uh, I already sent one march at it and got pretty wrecked. Um, so let me show you that one, if anybody's new and joining. So, nope, not this one. This one here. So I sent a full march and I only killed 409,000. Um, Stonewall sent a march and I don't know what he killed, but he killed the infantry. So it's probably going to be pretty good. Maybe this will break the wall and then we can solo after. Um, I guess we'll wait and see. So this guy's name is Farm 2, so I want to scout that. Always scout farms. I mean, if you're just sitting here and you don't have anything else going on, send some scouts out. Like, I have found on, like, a C10 before, like, 100 million food. And you're just like... Somebody was holding their food on, uh, on a little baby castle that was untagged, and they wanted it to go unnoticed, and I found it. See, like farm one. Look at this C10 out here. Maybe it'll be just loaded with resources. I could only hope. So we've got a mega going on. Odious Maximus. Um, hopefully, now that the, in the infantry's gone, we can break through. Came out of his bubble to scout me, so I bubbled. Nice. Uh, tell the place into the castle. Also, I don't know if. Oh, are they getting rain? He's getting rain from this C41 Puff Fu, which I can't click. So 1.2 billion. So we want to watch him too. Um, what are what are his attack stats? Um, Stone walls or mine? Or the guy we're attacking? Where? What am I looking for? Okay. Sorry, I'm a little drunk on the reports today. Um, so the benefit details, he's got... Looks like 8.5k troop attack and a bunch of 17-16k. Pretty balanced. Um, pretty balanced castle. I don't know what stone wall stats are. So... We're going to have to wait and see. But he's also just got rained with a bunch of distance, it looks like. And nobody else came to join this, so it's just me and Stonewall. I don't have to look at Stonewall's stats, because if his stats are lower, um, then I'll have to make the switch. Oh god, I just decided, I just saw I need to check something too. Um, make sure, okay, they're, they're active. I, f I swear I forget to do that all the time, to have my accolades active, and then I die. <laughs> so, I always got the ones that have lord names. Yes, like, I found lord names out in the middle of nowhere um, that have just millions of resources. I'm like, they've got their bot program going, and they're just mining away, and nobody ever bothers them, but... I think last Kingdom Raid I found 10 and I got like 150 million food from from the 10 various Lord names that had 10 or 15 million resources each. It was pretty awesome. Okay, we're getting there soon. Mega Rally is going to launch in 27 seconds. We're up to 45 people. That's That's so awesome. I appreciate everybody. Like, that's, man... I'm so excited.
And we've been at this for a while. I've been going for what, over an hour. I haven't found a ton of targets yet, but we're doing okay. Got some pretty big troop loss. Oh no, I did something stupid. Oh, I did something really stupid. Um, quick. Sorry, I can't watch that hit. Oh, 24k because I was stupid. I didn't even get a chance to swap my gear. If this would have hit and I hadn't healed that, my losses would have been huge. So I'd rather pay the 24k. Um, man, <laughs> that scared me. I can't believe I forgot that. I was just sitting here. So let's see how this mega does. So, God, this guy's set up, man. Uh, I did forget Duelist again. Mm. Well, I suck at that too, don't I? Um, so now we got we broke into. So he's got double rain. Where's his infantry? It's just gone. Okay. Are we going again? This is brutal. Um, let me look at this battle port. Oh, Stonewall is soloing it now. Um, I'm going to switch into my training gear and start healing again. But this guy, his setup is really good. Um... So I've only got 500 I've got 800,000 troops. Thanks, Elsie. Um, that was a that was a decent hit on the fort, but now we're getting wrecked on this guy's castle. Um, so Stonewall is really going for it. I I want to look at this a little closer. Um, is he using the, so he's using all of the the methods where there's tons of low troops in here, but they do so much damage. Um, yeah, like that mega should have done more. But he's getting double rained too, so the rain is probably helping him quite a bit, but he's down to 852,000 plus the rain. How much rain was there? 556. But bar keeps came in after. But Stonewall is Stonewall's pissed. I'm going to hit it again too. Why not? Am I in the right gear? Okay. <laughs> oh, that would suck. There's the burn. Was that all of it? If that was all of it, I can start getting the resources. Jeez, that was brutal, man. Uh, I do have... Uh, oh, I don't have a full infantry march. No, like... Um, I have some... Mixed marches and some pure cav marches, but I, I don't... Actually, I do have one. Let me show you. So down here, I have um, I have this combo. The one that I have that I don't use much... Like, these two are on my wall right now, so I don't want to send them off. But I need to get these resources. So now we're in the resource collecting phase. To make up for the troops we lost. So it's mostly iron that, that this guy has. And that was pretty good bait. Like, the amount of points that this guy is going to get is... He got a lot of points from us attacking him. It's pretty significant. And all we're getting is a little bit of resources. Not even a lot of resources. Like, iron and silver. I could care less about iron i have so much iron but the resources they just like it's an addiction resources are an addiction 
Let's see if he has anything left. And then I'm going to go find another target. So 3.4 mil. He's still got 11 million iron. So I'm going to let my last hit go and then... <laughs> Uh. Okay. See my horrible typing skills. Okay, so um <laughs> So Stone's like, you hung me out. I'm like, sorry, dude. I didn't, I didn't mean to. Unintentional. Um, so I'm going to random out, and then we're going to look at some of my other bookmarks. Um, I don't know that this kingdom has anybody that would really hurt me, but I am kind of weak right now because I've spent so many troops attacking. Um, I've got a lot of troops dead right now, so I need to be a little bit more careful. But then again, after this is all done, and when there's this many people... It's kind of addicting to go for it. So, why not? ASP has... Okay, who'd you get? You got 50... Oh, 52 and 273 again. So, 420, you guys get, like, the worst luck. I swear, like, 420 has faced 524 and 52 and 273 so many times. Like... And most of the time when it happens, everybody just goes to 420 and looks for targets there. <laughs> it's like, I don't know, they're so unlucky with that. I, and I'm guilty of it myself. Like, I try and go to the other ones, but there's always like, there's so many big scary people that um, you, you got to look out for when you go to one of the other kingdoms. Okay, so not much at this hive. So I'm at ASP on my list. So after ASP is ELP. ELP is Tiger and Lord Vader. Not much here that I see. Let's go more bookmarks. Um, LWA. Iron Fist. 465,000. There might be something here. 362, is there any other hive over here? It's just these two little guys. Let's go take a look. Um, let's go see if there's anything in these. Maybe, but if there is, not much. But I'm going to scout all of these and see if maybe they'll be resource rich. I could only hope for one of them to be just loaded with resources. Hey, welcome, Amir. Um, 411,000 troops, but they're baby troops. But I already wasted a port, so I might as well kill them, right? Like, I'm already here. And this one, I don't even have to use my airship for that. All right, thanks for showing up. Um, appreciate the support. Talk to you later. 411, so... This is LWA. Let's check the next bookmark. Oh, who's got coordinates? Oh, that's in 320. Um. <laughs> yeah, that's true. It doesn't really matter the level. Like, I'm after kills. It's Kingdom Raid. Uh, who are we against this time? We are against 320, 363, and 597. And I've got book marks. I marked a bunch earlier. Um, so that was LWA. Let's look at Knox. Knox looks like their alliance bubbled, so we won't find anything here. Um, oh, who's this little guy? A C20. <laughs> He's a little C20, 141 mil, out here trying to get his kills. Like, love it. That's awesome. Or it's a trap, and there's some rain somewhere. Well, maybe it'll happen eventually. Um, <laughs> I, these are 
these are two new kingdoms to us. Um, we've been in the same rotation for a long time, but 320 and 363 are both new. I've never faced them before. So that's, it's exciting to find different targets because um, normally like I have bookmarks saved from other stuff. 1.2. Let's share that with um, Stonewall. This is garrisoned as well. So there's 411,000 there. There's a farm. There's, what else is around here? I know there's more TKG. There's a big alliance over here to the south. And I don't see, I don't see much over here unbubbled. But let's go check out that, um, where'd it go? I lost it. I lost my own target. Okay, there she is. Okay, but now, is there even a spot that I can get into? Oh, who's on it? Stonewall's on it. Okay. Well, I did link it publicly, so let's see. So we might get another Mega in here. Um, we'll see. Let's see how this goes. God, he had to port really far away. That's a long march. I'm looking for a closer spot, but I don't see one over here. So I'm after that, I'm after the farm, I'm after, I think I'm going to kill this. Hi, how was your swim lesson? Great. Good. We got to go on the yellow and orange slides and go on the diving boards. I touched the bottom again, and also we got popsicles. Very good. Oh yeah, you think that little one's a trap? So let's see. So Sophia Farm has a million troops. Oh my god, I'm so after that. Holy crap. 9.2 million troops. Lots of low tier troops in there. Um, so after I kill the fort, I'm going to hit that farm to get the easy kills. And then if he needs to mega, we'll do that. So let's look at the power beforehand. Um, 1.2 billion. So he's going to waste a march to check the stats. And then we'll see if it's worth a mega. And he's got the new clown march, which is awesome. Or wait, I might have the new clown march too. I'll check in a second. So let's zoom in on the clowns. So there's the clowns marching. Let's see what they look like when they attack. Okay, so the other thing I want to attack is I want to attack this farm. I want to get those kills. Zero distance left. Uh, was Stonewall at distance main? So let me go look at that report from our Mega. Um, that was mine. So on the Mega benefits, so he's a, no, he's got big cavalry stats. Um, Okay, so the one I just hit, uh, oh, dang, I got all of them. Got a million kills. Um, super low stats on that farm. I wish the farm was loaded with resources, but it's not. 
So let me start scouting some of these other guys since we're here. See if we can find any resources. Um, carpet bomb everybody. Hopefully we can find something. Did I just miss the stats or he didn't post them? He didn't post them. Um, anybody have any questions, comments? Ooh, there's some wood here. So we're going to kill the wood. Or are we going to get the wood from this guy? It's not much, but I take every little bit that I can. So there's tiny amounts of troops on all of these pacemaker farms, but no resources. But I guess it's worth killing. So there's so many pacemaker farms around here. So there's one, two, three, four. So we're just carpet bombing all these farms for the tiny amount of kills. So because she has no resources, it's probably not worth it for us to go in there and waste a bunch of troops trying to get the, the kills. We'd need someone like Dark to lead the Mega so that we don't kill ourselves again. All right, so I'm just killing all these little castles, um, looking for resources in all the wrong places. I haven't found the only resources we found, we burned so many troops trying to get them that it's probably not even worth what we spent. Um, but my haul is pretty small, actually, for, I think, for the amount of points I have. So I have 1.8 billion points, and I have less than 100 million resources, which is not great. Um, I would definitely prefer to have more. Which one did I just scout? Let's kill this one too. So there's tiny amounts of resources on these little pacemaker farms. Um, I guess better than nothing. Oh, who just killed that? Stonewall killed it? Nice burn. So that means he destroyed that. So she had 9.2 million troops, and he killed it. So if she's burning, that means he won. Let's see what how much he killed, because I'll be able to see it from the scout report. Whoa, they are gone. He just got... Am I reading that report wrong? Or it was a lot of troops before, right? I'm not missing a zero. No, that's 9.2 million troops. Jeez, that's crazy. So that's a lot of kills. That's awesome. Congrats. Congrats on that for sure. So I'm going to keep carpet bombing all these little, um, these little baby castles, and then we'll go look for some more targets. Might as well just attack. Let's attack with a distance march. Um, I do like seeing all this fire, even though I'm burning a bunch of farms. <laughs> it's still fun. Like, it's fun to burn farms sometimes and just see all the fire around you and feel like a big castle, even though I'm just killing little dead castles. I wish that just one of these was loaded up with resources. Oof. to Mega with me. So just a bunch of tiny little kills, like not much to look at. Little bits of resources here and there. Um, I'm reduced to this right now. So I'm going to check a few more targets, see if I can't find anything, but... Um, I'm guessing that most of my targets are going to be bubbled at this point still. I've got a few left to check, but most of them are going to be bubbled. And I think I don't think people want to watch me hitting uh, 
tiny little baby castles all night. So I'm hoping to find something worthwhile. But I'm going to scout the rest of these, like maybe Nori or baby Nori. Um... Uh oh, NWA is in trouble. Um, I have, I've got 13 minutes till I can come, Tom. Uh, I have to, I have to be able to bubble. Or are you trolling me? <laughs> I can't tell. Um, how are we in trouble though? Oh, Hug's attacking me? Who's Hug? That's all right. I mean, it's not ideal, but... Wait, no, I bubbled. <laughs> you trolling me. I bubbled last night. I'm safe. Okay, so I'm going to scout a few more. Um, I might change this over to test server. Okay, so they're they are attacking our towers. Um, we'll move over to the um, I might move over to the test server and make this a hybrid um, stream if there's fighting going on over there. Uh, that's a no loss one and you can there's definitely gonna be megas and stuff happening over there. So Oh, Nori's got troops, so we're going to kill Nori's troops. And let me see if his small Nori has troops. Small Nori has some troops. Okay, so they killed our, our towers in between, so we don't have a, a path. So I need to go check that out on the test server in just a minute. So Nori had troops on all of his castles, so we're going to check those real quick. Um, I'll go look at... Where's that line coming from? So I always follow these lines to... Um, so somebody's here doing dailies. That guy. But he's still bubbled. So I always check those lines. Um, let me check a couple more targets. This guy has 920,000 troops. So where is that at? Right here? Perfect. So after we kill his farm, then we're going to kill his main, and then we'll go to the test server. God, I just want to find so many resources. Like, it's been a long time since I found a jackpot. I found one jackpot last Kingdom Raid. Um, it was a, a mini jackpot. It was like 150 million wood. And it's crazy how far I've come. Because I remember when I was first starting, like, 150 million wood would have been huge and it would take me so long to get. But I sent five marches, and then I scouted again, thinking, like, oh, I'm going to have to get some more. And I had cleared it all. I got 150 million wood in five marches. And that's that's just crazy to me, um, to think how big my troop load has got compared to previously, where it's like, I could still maybe two or three million resources at a time and it would take absolutely forever and now I can just smash through and get 150 million resources like nothing I don't know why this is telling me it's red so after this March returns we'll hit one more at Nori um, we'll port away check a couple of my last bookmarks while we're waiting for my bubble timer to expire and then we'll switch over to the test server so nine minutes. Um, this one will extend it a tad when I hit Nori. And we'll speed this up to make it more fun. And let's see. So everybody's just kind of quietly watching. Um, if you guys do want to talk in chat, I'll, I'll see. Okay, so... Got all those troops in a single hit. That's nice. A little bit of resources. 
Okay, so I was at, this alliance is ban, no, P, phi. So PHI was the one that I was at. So I was at PHI, so now TKG is the one that's just below us. Bad Braves Food. So this one, I saved this bookmark because it's called food specifically. Um, and you never know who's going to just, you know, like maybe he's got stuff sitting on there. And I would love that. If this Braves food has like 500 million food, I would absolutely love it. Like wish it into existence by talking about it. Not much there. <laughs> There's some food, but not enough food for me to care. All right, um, checking a few more bookmarks, and then I'll switch over. So TKG, bad, TKG, TKG, TKG. Why do I have so many TKG? Knox, Leoria. So those two bubbled. Um, calm. It's bubbled. And I keep my bookmarks in categories now, so um, this is my last bookmark for this kingdom. 443 million, it's probably zeroed. There's also not much around it, so I don't even want to waste a teleport. So I'm probably going to go home, switch to the test server, and go see what's on over there. Twinks, 09. Ooh, okay, there's a target. We're going to come back and hit that. Um, let's go hit that. There's definitely troops here. Um, let's see if there's resources too. That would be the perfect end to a raid is if this guy had resources. Not many, but 3.1 million troops. Um, hopefully he's weak because I don't really want to waste my battlefield treatment scroll. Do I? No, I don't. I'm just going for it. Um, maybe I could have used Colossal March to make it a little bit better. Okay, so I got 1.5 million. Oh, I forgot to check those last two scouts before I left. Small troops. Okay, so I got 1.5 million on the first attack. My stats are way bigger. So then second attack... I don't think I'll kill them all. I'll probably kill half of these, so I'll get a million kills on this one. Um, and then after that, I'll probably get the last mill in the last attack. So pretty much what I was saying in the last one. So he's got some pretty heavy losses here. He's getting 121,000 permanent death. And this next hit, because I'm guessing his hospital is full, is going to hurt him pretty bad. And then I'm going to look at some of these other little towers, or these little castles around real quick. Since I wasted a port, I might as well check it out. So I got the rest, and yeah, this is the big one. So 552,000 permanent death. So that's rough. That is really rough. Um, Bam has... There's a bunch of little baby castles around here. And the big ones are all bubbled right now. I don't see much else around here. I know this kitty has like 10 or 15 kitty castles around, but I don't see anything else significant. Does this have something? Let's scout that. Um, since I'm here, and where was the one that I was looking at over here? Let's scout this for fun and what else? Nothing there. That one's dead. Um, I don't see much else over here. Unless I missed something and I'm blind. So Q, nothing. Jinxie, nothing. Kitty 2. Tiny bit of wood and food. Enough. Enough for me to hit it. Um... 
And then how much time do I have left on my shield? I hope I'm not actually burning on the main server, but I could be. Or on the test server. Pac-Man. Ooh. Yes. This is what I was looking for. Not a ton of resources, but there's enough. Did I share that? I didn't mean to share. So this is a nice little bonus right at the end. So it's not a ton, but 2 million silver and 8 million wood. Um, I'm okay with it. So I got a million troops on the first hit. And the second one will probably finish it off. Let's make sure. And then we're going to random out. Two minutes left on the bubble. So we got the rest of it. Now, that's not all the resources, is it? I need to send one more time. I think there's one more set of resources in here. Or maybe I did get it all. Okay, so I did get it all um, for the most part on that other hit. Not bad, not meaning to share that, just get those. Uh, now I'm at how many points? 2.4 billion. Um, oh, I forgot to look at the rank. I'm in rank two. Um, I won't hold rank two with 2.4 billion. With Dark and them going around doing megas, um, there's no way that I'll hold this with that kind of points. This is one where I'd need a couple billion, like a couple billion more points than I have to, uh, to stay in the rank two. What does this guy have? 500 million C34. There might be troops there. Oh, this is the first hive I went to. So I've already been there. Um, this one's all bubbled up. Yep, we've been here too. So I think that's it for my bookmarks for what I have right now. Um, yeah, I can't believe they're still doing Pursuer. Like, it's silly. Um, oh, I'll show you in a sec. Um, we're th I think it's 330, 363, and 597. No, 320, 363, and 597. So I'm back home. I just need to last 57 seconds. Um, then I'm going to bubble and we'll go over to the test server for a minute. Um, see what's going on over there. And it's getting late. I've been doing this for like an hour and 40 minutes. Um, so my family's going to hate me. Plus uh, my little one's going to bed soon. So I'm going to have to end it. So I'll jump over to the test server for 10, 15 minutes and then probably call it a night. As soon as I can be safe. Um, kingdoms with lower participation rates. That's mm, not going to do well in the new event. Um, one, you you probably only want one or two alliances from each kingdom going in. Um, any more than that, and it gets kind of crowded, and you're fighting for bridges towards the center. Um, hopefully, the kingdoms with low participation will be faced with other kingdoms with low participation so you don't get blown out. Like maybe you can actually have a fair event. But at the same time, based on if they do kingdom merges, you might want um, you might want it to be a kingdom that has um, you know really big power that wants to absorb you and you can get into an active kingdom. So you know, there's there's two points of view there, and we don't know how the matchmaking is going to go. Is it going to be based off of stars? Is it going to be um... okay? So let's see. Okay, so there's a mega rally going on. I can't see what's happened. Um, while I'm going live, the, the app that I'm using is called Omelette Arcade. Um, the, the other one that I normally use is called Screen something Screen Recorder. It's a little orange dot instead. Um, but this Omelette Arcade does, does clips and stuff too. 
I just prefer the other one for um, regular stuff. Ooh, I love when they do this. Look at these war supplies that they give us. Um, they give you 10K training speed ups, other speed ups, um, billions, like look at this, 75,000 times the 10K food. They give us tons and tons of supplies. Hey, Kimberly, you made it. Welcome. Um, so I need to see where we're fighting and figure out, I need to get my bearings and figure out what's, what's happening right now. So, I don't know where we're fighting. And this map is laggy, so if you didn't watch this before, um, when there's stuff happening, so it looks like I can go to this map. So there's stuff happening over here at this bridge. That bridge is an hour and seven minutes away. Um, I don't see anything happening over here. Where is the mega happening at? Um, I don't see where the action is. So let me look around again. Maybe over here. I don't know where they're fighting. Jeez. Um, the landmarks look safe. Yeah, I think that the test server, um, this test server always has a little bit of lag and it's just kind of how it is. Um, I don't think that they dedicate a huge amount of server resources to it. Okay, please build. I'll demo the other one after. Um, so this one, I don't want to send my airship in case I have to attack with something else. I don't see any real fighting going on. I guess we could... Oh, so Hug was attacking us. So this guy's 2.6 building, uh, or 2.6 billion. Everybody else is bubbled up. Okay, what did Tom say? I had to craft trans gems. It doesn't count the R10s. Oh, jeez. <laughs> So, so you didn't get timed targets because you were too good. <laughs> but it gave me credit for all of them. Oh, because I still have some phantom. I still have phantom gemstones. So here I am with my normal pleb self um, in phantom gemstones. Tom, what else was happening on here? Um, you said there was other fighting going on? So TMZ Yarg looks like he's zeroed. TMZ's got a tower there. I don't see what else. So it looks like our current path, we are changing up from the other bridge. Someone from Hug sent me a message. They want to borrow bridge two for a few minutes. Why? So they can get across? So this map is super confusing um, to figure out. And you have to figure out like which bridges are which. Like This is a level three military bridge. This is the one that's opening in an hour. Um, I, I'm not going to stay alive for an hour. <laughs> that's too much. Um, but basically, these bridges are 
you fight the troops inside of them and you kill these troops. So see this meter that's 200 out of 200? Um, every time you attack it, it takes off two or three points from the bridge. Um, and then you get individual kill rewards for ranking. Um, and for occupying, you get these honor points. There's supposed to be an honor point store, but um, it's not in the game right now. So we have no idea what's in the store and if the store is good or not. So it's kind of disappointing to not be able to see that, to be able to talk about it. Uh, but, uh, you know, like I always say, it is what it is. We get what we get. So I'm going to speed some stuff up in here real quick. Um, oh, yeah, I'll show you in a second. Um, we get like 500 towers. Kind of like, it's like Tides of Darkness. Um, but you get tons and tons of towers that... Uh, with those towers, you extend your territory and you have to keep um, keep it locked like you do in Tides of Darkness. And that's how you can... Um, well, Muse is, Muse is a veteran. I'm a rookie. And he probably says that I, I'm terrible and I don't know what I'm doing and other stuff, I'm guessing. So, starting research in here. So, this is my research... Um, I've got most of the stuff for the pirates maxed, so I do really good damage against the pirate bridges and those other things. Um, these bottom ones are for rallies, so this will come in handy when we're fighting against the middle bridge. Um, not as much for me, because I won't be leading any rallies, but for some of the other big players, they should have focused on that. Yeah, Muse, um, I used to watch his videos all the time. And when I was starting out, he would say, you know, I'll help new people out. And let me know. And I asked him for help and I asked him for some advice. And he never gave me any help or advice. And then when I started growing my own channel, I never did anything to him. But he started talking crap about me on his live stream, saying, I don't know what I'm doing. And I suck at my job and all this and that. And I was just like. Okay, so I'm done with him. You know, I don't know why he thinks that putting other people down makes him look better, but, you know, he lost me after that as a subscriber and a viewer. Oh, he banned you for being a marketer for GOG? That's because your name is, is Gilby GOG? He thinks you're, you're advertising for them? Yeah, I, I mean, for me, the issue is not, um, the issue for me is not talking the whole time. My voice does get a little sore. Um, the issue is that my kids are going to bed soon. <laughs> so I, I'm, the way that my house is set up, I don't have a studio. I have an office, but it's right next to both bedrooms. And I can't be in here talking for too much longer after they go to bed because I'll disrupt their sleep and... My kids, uh, they don't take naps, and they're kind of jerks when they're tired. So we try to let them sleep. Most big players left to join the other alliance. Um, one, oh, in, is that live server? So let's see. I'm trying to catch up on here. He also did some of his own alliance. We were waiting during an update. I asked him about it. What was coming in like two hours? Oh, you were talking about rumors and you're a marketeer. Well, there's a pretty clear pattern in the game as far as the way they release things. Um, it's not even hard to guess anymore. Like, everybody knows the pattern. And you can go on the Discord, and when it's time for an update, you know, they've done pretty well about, like, the servers go down, and as soon as the the server resets, you've got to notice like what's coming. But even before that, it's like, oh, coat of arms is next. You know, airship is next. Guard weapons are next. Um, she said there was a bridge that disappeared, maybe a glitch. Um, yeah, that's weird. Look at this. So... They've got territory. It looks like they jumped the river. 
and made it across. So there's some glitches in the game um, that looks like they, they've they jumped the river or there was a bridge here that got abandoned um, or disappeared. And I don't know what the answer is. Um, there should be, let's see, next Monday is only mid-cycle. Um, so if they do an update on Monday, it'll be something smaller, like, um, I don't know, what was an example? Like the last mid, the last mid-cycle upgrade that they did was the two new cavalry guards. And then the last mid-cycle update they did before that was, um, it was something else small. So if they do it, it'll be like, it'll be something small, um, or some optimizations or something else. Yeah, curiosities will be probably in two weeks. Um, was I interviewed for the new event? No, I was not. Um, I I heard about other people's interviews and I gathered the information I could. But at that point, I didn't want to put out a video when I had no direct information, so I left it up to um, Tom and Muffin and some of the other YouTubers that had direct information on the event. Um, I had basically no information other than what I saw on their YouTube channels, so I didn't want to just steal that and make my own video. <laughs> Finally got a full set, and then they're going to change it. That's, that's normally how it goes. Um, I think I just finished my full set of these and then I still need airship stuff. So the point of this test server specifically is testing this new event. So the only real thing they give us is this new event. Um, if you haven't seen the other videos on it, I'll do a, a, like a three minute recap. So the Uncharted Seas is a new event that's coming to the game. It's When it goes live, it's gonna be a seven week event um, where you port into this new world and there's new research, there's new things to do, um, pirates to fight. And basically it's going to be eight kingdoms fighting each other. And you get to build towers like in Tides of Darkness. So if I look at the mini-map here, you can see all these orange lines. So all these squares are like Tides of Darkness flags. Um, you place the towers down, you extend your territory along the way, and you work towards these landmarks that have different benefits. So, for example, this benefit was 20% research speed for getting this pirate fortress. So as long as we control that, um, you know, we have the pirate fortress, we gain the extra buff. Um, but the main goal of it is at the end, you want to capture the center, and whoever captures the center wins the event. Um, it's like a KVK of sorts. And... This part they haven't fully revealed, but the rumors are that whoever controls the Devil's Keep, whoever wins, gets to pick one of the other kingdoms that they fought, um, and then there's going to be server merges. And it's not going to be a forced server merge, but it will be a voluntary server merge. So... If Kingdom 1 picks Kingdom 2, you're allowed to move your castle from Kingdom 1 to Kingdom 2. And I think that's it's probably going to be a one-time thing. So you have to, you know, like, is everybody going to come to Kingdom 1? Or who's going to go to Kingdom 2? Like, are we going to completely abandon the kingdom? And anybody who doesn't pay attention to server politics and what's going on in the kingdom will just be left. And it'll be a bunch of farmers left in a dead kingdom. Um, so that's the part that we don't know how often you're going to get to move back and forth, etc. So some of the other things in here, the research. Um, the research is very important uh, for getting your supplies and all that stuff. And also the pirate research. When I first loaded into here, I could only kill um, a level 6 threat. I died to a level 6 threat. But after I started doing research, I was able to work my way up. And now I can kill level 15 threats um, without a problem. And then down here, they've got you know, more research. They've got ultra rallies now. 
Uh, there's no point at the moment. What says that this phantom marker? Um, you're right. Like, there's nowhere in the game that says right now that there's migration involved in this event. Um, that's just part of the rumors from the interview. Um, yeah, so in here it doesn't say anything about merging or anything like that. So it could just be an event where we come in here to do the event. Let's see, I missed some other questions. Yeah, we'll just have to see what they actually decide. Um, there's a lot of rules in here about the different areas, the landmarks, um, different things in here. I will cover, cover all of this in a different video, um, and I've gone over it a little bit in the others. But at the bottom here, there's supposed to be an honor store. And I'm guessing the thing that makes this event really worth it is the honor store. I'm guessing the honor store is going to be amazing, but they did not put that in the test server. So for now, we're out here fighting, we're learning, we're doing all this stuff, um, but there's not really a huge point to it. And I've heard that too, um, that this event is really similar to the other uh, KOA event. I also feel like it's pretty similar, not the event itself, but the way the towers work is really similar to how they are in State of Survival. Like in State of Survival, you just get a ton of towers for your alliance and it snakes across the map like this. Um, and it's funny because we asked for Tides of Darkness to do this, where each um, kingdom it shows on the minimap, like where they're heading and what their towers are in different colors. And they said they didn't think it was possible, but they did it here a couple of months after that. So we'll see. Um, yeah, like the only information that that came out about potential merges was during the interviews, uh, and I wasn't part of the interviews, so I don't know. And they might have done away with that because people weren't happy with it. So you never know. The other thing that they did in KOA that was different than what they're doing here is the merges were based on the star system. So here we've had the star system for longer, and we have larger stars than they did at the time. So maybe that will play a factor in how they do merges. Um, and I'm not an expert on the KOA one. I just watched some other videos, but it was something like, um, you know, we're much higher now than they were, but say basically like no alliance can have more than 15 stars. So if you're a 12 star kingdom and you get to pick three kingdoms to merge, you can't pick another mega kingdom. You're going to have to pick some smaller kingdoms that have two or three stars. Uh, and that was the basic gist of it. So who knows if they do something like that similar in Guns of Glory or if they use this event or they just open up server merges. Like they may get ideas from other games, but it is still their own game. Yeah, what up? Um, basically, we don't know. Um, we can all speculate. We can go off of what they said during interviews, but that was two months ago. Like They could have changed stuff since then. Um, and we don't know if... You know, if they talk to the, the all the big players, the whales, in the Guns of Glory VIP program, and they said, we're not going to play the game if you do merges that way, well, if enough of your big spenders say they're going to quit because you do something, they have to take that seriously, and they might have made some changes. Yeah, so... I trust Tom, um, and like I agree with him. I don't want to speculate too much and get people's hopes up. Like I'm going off of what I've heard, um, and basically, like we we don't know what they're going to do. Hopefully, they do migration soon because a lot of kingdoms are getting pretty light. Um, but we'll just have to wait and see. So I was hoping there was going to be some fighting on the test server, uh, and it doesn't look like there's going to be much right now. So I think um, 
little one's getting ready for bed, and I think I'm done raiding on main server for now. So I think I'm going to cut the stream. Um, I can leave it up for a couple of minutes because there's some good conversation going in the chat. Uh, but other than that, I think that I'm probably about done for the night. Uh, anybody have any last questions, comments, anything they want to say? Um, thanks, Tom, for showing up. Thanks, everybody, for showing up. We got up to like 46 viewers tonight, which was awesome. Merlin Levy, yeah, I, I can see that. Like, getting to see 40 previously felt like I was never going to get there. And then once I got close, C44 hit. And now all of a sudden it's like, I feel, or C45, it's like, I feel like I'm never even going to get to C44. But getting to Castle 45 feels like it's going to take like a full year. And who knows if I'll even be around that long. Um, we'll just have to see how things play out and what happens. Um, hey, Jonathan, how you doing? All right, everybody. Um, thanks again for showing up. I really appreciate the support. Look out for the next um, live stream whenever we might do it. I will probably try and stream for the big center castle if I can. So the big center castle is happening in 18 hours and 50 minutes. So I will still be at work, but I'll be getting home shortly after that tomorrow. Uh, and I'll probably try and go live because this middle devil's keep is where the action is going to happen. That's where all, all four kingdoms are going to be in the middle fighting it out. We're going to be joining Dark's Megas. Um, it's going to be Luca versus Crispy versus Dark versus, um, you know, whatever else. Yeah, Tom, I know the bridges are going to open and I'll, I'll be here for it. But I can't stay live and keep talking about it because of, uh, of the kids. So i got to end the actual streaming part. I will be on for the bridge and I'll record it to use the footage in another video probably. Okay, I'm just going to keep rambling on and on and on. Um, thanks, everybody. Appreciate the support. See you next time. Wow, an hour and 37 minutes. That's crazy. Whew. All right, guys.